Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mr. Swam, would you open us in prayer? Thank you very much. Would you all bow your heads, please? Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity that we're able to come here and go about the business of Georgetown Township. We pray for your wisdom and your guidance, Lord. We thank you for all our staff that, that makes this a wonderful place to work, and we particularly reflect on our first responders and working on fires in this terrible weather, cold weather, Lord, is very, very difficult. Please be with them and keep them safe. We think at this time of uh, President George Bush that passed away, and what a wonderful man, what a legacy, what a hero for our nation. We thank you for his inspiration, Lord. Thank you again for this opportunity. In your son's name we pray. Amen. 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 Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you. You could please call the roll. Yes, Mr. Chairman, let the record show that all members of the board are present. All right, very good. Well, here at the outset, I welcome those who are here this evening and among the board as well, obviously. Uh, my quote tonight comes from Ben Franklin, who I like very much, and it has to do with Christmas, but he said, a good conscience is always a continual Christmas. So, clean conscience, it can be Christmas every day for you. All right, and do you have your shopping done? Huh? I see. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Right. <laughs> plenty of time. Plenty of time. Amazon time. I can order until like the 21st, you guys. <laughs> All right. Is there a motion to approve tonight's agenda? So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Any comment? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Agenda is passed. Item number six communication letters and reports received for information. Trust everyone's reviewed those. Item seven comments. Uh, this evening, if you're here from the public and you'd like to comment on any of the items that are on our agenda this evening, this would be a great time to do that. Uh, we'll have another public comment period at the end for any topic at all that you wish to bring up. I imagine perhaps several of you might be here as it relates to some of our uh, consent agenda items and only if issues arise. So um, thank you for being here. Anyone wish to address the board at this time? Okay, seeing none, we'll close the first public comment period. Now that consent agenda, item number eight, is there a motion to approve? So moved. I'd like to move and support it. Any comments? Anyone wish to remove anything from the consent agenda? Yeah, I'd like to pull 8.13. Yeah, 8.13. So the approval of the 2018 budget amendments, we will make that item, shall we call it 10A? All right, perfect. Anyone else, any other item that you wish to remove? Okay, hearing none, is there uh, all in favor say aye? Aye. aye. Both same sign. All right, the Senate agenda is approved with that one item removed. Item number nine, this is the ordinance number 2018-19, marijuana establishments and facilities prohibited. Uh, this is sort of piggybacking on something. Yeah, thank you for coming. Um, this is piggybacking on some action we took the last time as it related to the, the township board. Uh, this now has to do with our zoning ordinance. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Support. And supported uh, comments about this particular motion. Anyone? I imagine we had some spirited discussion last time, and your stance is probably similar this time, I would guess. This, this is up from the planning commission. Sure. Well, the other dealt with our general ordinances. This deals with our zoning ordinance. Okay. All right. And it's a roll call vote, so if the clerk would please call the roll. Mr. Bosch. Yes. Mr. Schwab. Yes. Mr. Veneer. Yes. Mrs. Skolma. Yes. Mr. Steele. Yes. Mr. Weiringa. Yes. Clerk votes yes. Carried. Oh, okay. All right. Item 10, wages for board members. This would recommend an, uh, an increase of 3%. Is there a motion to approve? I'll make that motion, Mr. Chairman. Support. Moved and supported. Discussion? Anyone at all? All right. Uh, Mr. Clerk, could you call roll on this one? Oh, sure. Uh, clerk votes yes. 
Mr. Schwamm. Yes. Mr. Bosch. Yes. Mr. Muneer. Yes. Mrs. Skolma. Yes. Mr. Weeringa. No. Mrs. Steele. Yes. It's carried. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, item 10A now, reflecting back to what uh, Mike had removed earlier, that's the budget amendment for 2018. So you've each got that description perhaps with you, or at least you've looked at it. Uh, Michael, why don't you lead us in discussion on that? So I just wanted further explanation on it. I got a little bit of detail at the service meeting, um, but I guess I would just like to get an overview of how much, yep. um, where the money's going on everything, and then also um, how how much in, I guess, the negative transportation and the senior center is. I know it usually operates at a loss every year. What is it, 160000 or something combined, or close to 200 And if we're adding even more to it, that puts it even farther in the hole, and then... Very, very fair, Michael. In fact, we, we discussed this for quite some time in our meeting earlier this week and uh, needed to get our own heads and minds around it in the Finance Committee, so I'm glad you brought it up for all to discuss. I could try to repeat, because we did talk about it at length, Rich might also, but I'm going to defer as it seems best to do, because I was learning it from Dan as we went through it. And do you wish to take first crack at, at helping the board understand these amendments, please? Sure, I, I just asked him to bring them up there, right there. It's just, there. Ooh, just a little down, down, right there. Uh, the budget is obviously authority or approval to spend up to a maximum. And of course, we can't go over the budget. And so we have to make estimates of what could happen by the end of the year. And so certain things, uh, and these are the ones that um, either were over or made us a little bit nervous that we could be over, and we didn't want to do that. And if you look at the Sheriff's Department, for example, uh, it's going to be very close. And so we wanted to have a little bit of cushion. That's why you're seeing that there, because we did add uh, one deputy that we're sharing with the school this year. And sometimes there's expenses that surprise us uh, in their timing. And so um, it's not anything new. It's just the timing of when it could hit and how we get billed. And this is our last meeting of the year to present this to you. And so that's why you're seeing the $100,000 there. It's a safety cushion <laughs> for what we might need to operate till the end of the year. Because we won't get the last bills until sometime in January. So it actually happened uh, with the Sheriff's Department for the last part of the deputies. And uh, Rod is here to also answer questions about transportation, but you can see a couple of things happened in the senior center. One is certain activities were higher and the use was higher, so we paid the consultants more. You'll see the consultant activities are up, but you'll also see the class fees are up. So we charge for those classes and then we pay the consultant. <laughs> so if we're conducting more classes, then it, it's, we're paying them more and then of course we're collecting more. And so that's why you see the revenues on top. Uh, and the expenses down below. So on the revenue side, you can see we're budgeting 207000 We're adjusting the revenue side, and then the same for the overall expenses. Now, the sale of fixed assets, for example, we're only adding 125000 even though you can see we have a significant amount more available, but it's, it's not needed and will be used next year toward the library, of course. So, and that's just what we're proposing to use now. And if you have specific questions, you're looking at something, uh, and you can see one is the bus of the new van, right, the um, acquisition of the van, and then the grant revenue that you see that we received, the additional money for the van that we purchased. So is that kind of what you're looking for? Or? Yeah, please. Uh, everyone, as we had the opportunity to do, everyone should feel free to ask questions either of Dan or Rod. Rod being, I think, more the specialist on the, view of the transportation side. So please, any one of you? I got a question on the, um, that liaison that was added, I thought, I don't remember offhand, were we splitting that with the school or were we just covering the whole thing? It's a percentage basis, yeah, it's a third. The school pays a third, we pay a third, and then the county pays a third, I think is the percentage. So uh, we did vote, and the board did vote to approve that additional officer, so. And we're, we're adding another hundred grand? No, you, if you listen to what I said, I said that's one of the factors that's hard to know, but it's a safety net for what the end would be. That particular officer, um, I think a third was going to be around the neighborhood of twenty-five to thirty thousand uh, for that part for our share. But it, it's not—we're spending a hundred thousand. It's 
we can't exceed this number, and I'm nervous about exceeding the number that's already approved, which is why um, you can see we have 229,000 left when we did this, and we didn't get November's bill yet or December's bill yet. And so when we look at 1.6 million divided over 12 months, you can see that we're a little bit tight. And that's why uh, I proposed this. So, but when we did the budget originally, that officer wasn't included when we did that a year earlier. That wasn't included as a potential expense. So. I was just thinking if we're having 100 grand, something we want to look at next time we do the budget to increase that department, obviously. So it's right, but it was, quarter. you know, a year early. You do the budget a year earlier, and then when you add a deputy that's not part of that, then that's things you have to contemplate now. So it's, that's why it's anticipating now what's going to happen in the last few months. And, and I know there's several changes there, but if you look at our entire budget, these are the only few lines that we're looking to adjust of the entire budget. So, I mean, it's... There's a lot of lines where we did really good, right? Right. Well, <laughs> mine's not showing up here. I could have put the other <laughs> pages, but I just narrowed it down to these eight lines, so, or ten lines. Do we have a, a P&L report for the senior center in transportation like I got last year? Could, you, could I get one of those? We can get any report you'd like. Yeah, this ballpark, what are we talking? I'm not sure. It, am I right? Wasn't it about 160 It operates? Well, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head that you're looking for, but I can certainly get you a new report. of what Revenue happened. that comes in from classes, memberships, as sure. opposed to the 300 yeah. something that goes out. I just, I, it's one of those things that just concerns me with the amount of people that use it subsidizing, what, three grand a person, four grand a person of taxpayer money? I, I can get you any report you'd like, and then we'll have the numbers instead of speculating, I guess. I'm not comfortable speculating on where we're at right now. So. Anything else, Michael? Otherwise, we go to Jason, Carol, going down this way. Well, I would just like to thank Dan for being on top of this. This is, um, and so thank you very much. I appreciate that so that we are, um, that we're on top of these issues. And I think that's, that speaks well of, of the superintendent. And um, so thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> and I think too, we just have to remember that it's a budget. And just like at home on your budget, you know, sometimes you spend it, sometimes you don't. You have leftover and sometimes you get in a bind where something comes up and then you need extra. So that's what Dan does. Anyone else? All right. I don't believe we need a motion. Yet. We do, okay, because we removed it. That's right. All right. I'll make the motion to approve the budget amendments as presented. Support. Those right. are supported. All in favor say aye. 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 Same sign. That motion is carried. Now is the opportunity for a uh, second public comment period. Does anyone wish to address the board? No. All right, Sergeant does. Uh, anyone else after him is welcome to come and address the board for up to three minutes on any topic you like. I have two quick things. Uh, this Thursday is our first annual Shop with the Sheriff in Jenison Meyer. Shopping starts at 6. We're going to have 40 kids from Jenison Public Schools that are uh, in need. Uh, we've worked well with the schools and uh, their homeless coordinator. And now uh, we got a quick, easy list. So we're going to be spending 100 bucks on each of these kids, thanks to Meyer. And uh, we're going to be partnering with Georgetown Fire. We're going to have, I think, uh, nine or ten firefighters out there as well, and about 30 officers. And uh, we're going to take each kid shopping. So just for what it's worth, if you want to stop by, it's going to be a great time. Um, That's this Thursday? This Thursday. Evening. Six o'clock shopping starts. Okay. Yeah. And also... I know some of those kids, and it just overwhelms me. I like that generosity. Thank you. Yeah. I know Rod has gone through our um, Citizen Police Academy. We have uh, that starting up again. Um, it was a 13-week academy. That's they're going to ramp it down just a little bit. So I'm just encouraging you guys to just to see once if you get a snapshot of uh, a lot of other things that the sheriff's department does. So if you're interested in doing that, please get a hold of me and let me know, and I'd love to get you signed up for that. I think they're Tuesday nights. So just for what it's worth. Thank What's you. What's the time on that? <laughs> I think it's worth noting, too, that Meyer is being uh, generous here, and uh, they've been one of the longest-term businesses we have, certainly one of the biggest, if not the biggest, employer outside of, you know, um, the township, but I'm sure it's more than the township, of course. But 
anyways, it, uh, it's been just a stalwart, kind of an anchor right in the middle of the community. And uh, they do a lot more than this. I, I appreciate them. Mm-hmm. I hope that they know that we appreciate them and we probably should, uh, independently, maybe I should just reach out to them on behalf of the township and just thank them mm-hmm. because they are important to us here. All right, anyone else wish to address the board at this time? Seeing none, we'll close the second public comment period. Discussion and general information among the board. I've got a couple of things, but I'll, I'll defer the rest of you first here. It's a ribbon-cutting Monday for that quality car wash. Yeah. And I think that's at noon, is that? For Tommy's? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's noon or 11.30 or noon. And light lunch and, yeah. Okay. And they want to go? All right. Good. Glad to have them, too. And you look like you're ready to say something. You know, not tonight. I'm okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, Becky. Rich. No. Oh, you said didn't. Okay. Wood. Oh. Wood up there. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was looking to get to. So, uh, two things. One is the 200 Baldwin. Uh, they, they extended their option again, so that's another $5,000 they're going to deposit with us for another month. So they're still interested because now the money is going hard each month. So. Cottonwood has been obviously one of the more frustrating things for our residents and for us. And as we work with uh, different situations, they are, they were paving the base course today. I haven't seen if they've finished the base course, but the plan when we last met with them, which was just the end of last week, was they'd get the base course done and then allow three passage lanes. So a center turn lane and then two through lanes to allow all the local traffic to go through. The road commission has a concern um, to just open it up because of uh, it's not finished. There could be some liability issues there concerned about with the lift that will still be on the curb and then maintaining that with water as that could turn into ice and issues that could be there. But they did agree to make the signs, move the signs far enough away so that three lanes could pass through to certainly allow all the local traffic to get through whichever direction they're trying to go. So uh, we're well aware that more people will drive on it and uh, so that could be a factor but it will still officially be closed to uh, local traffic only. And that will be for the till spring, and that is the plan. So um, we always have to remember that it's a county project; it's not a township project. The county has to work with the state, so it's through a state bidding process and contract. And so a lot of those things are outside local control when that federal money is involved in these projects. So it does affect the project and certainly limits our control. And the issue of damages. Uh, for the delay is still something that uh, is being worked on <coughs> and certainly nothing's been decided, but that's one of the issues that still has to be determined. So between the state, the county, and us, and then of course the contractor is still a factor, but uh, the county ultimately gets to make those decisions first. So we appreciate that these come to us, but it's still frustrating when it's not open. So. Lots of, <coughs> of angry people. Yeah. We say the time and we're not involved in that. That's a boondoggle right there. So it's from the get go. I don't know if the news had it wrong, but at six o'clock tonight on the news, channel eight, they said it was gonna be open and that they were doing their last layer of payment. That's all. <laughs> they must well, have it wrong. They don't ask, we can't really yeah. <laughs> give them the answer, so yeah. But that's frustrating because, you know, people hear that and then they <laughs> Just, yeah. And that's been frustrating for us too because mm-hmm. if we talk to them, every, we talk to them several times per week and if the story is different every single time. Mm-hmm. Of course, that, some things are out of their control. Weather, the weather was nicer today. Right. You know, how far will they ever get if the weather's nicer tomorrow? What will they attempt? And so, um, some of it's subject to weather. The fact that the asphalt plant is still staying open is amazing in itself that they can actually work in December. And, uh, you know, who knows what the product will be long term? So that's some concerns that are out there as well. So wow. it's, it is a it is a frustration, and, and I have noticed from the time I was a trustee to being supervisor, you hear much more in this position than I did in that one uh, when it comes to issues like this. So I talk frequently with people about this, and I'm always asking Dan or others for updates. Yeah, I want the latest information. I want to be accurate. Uh, because it's clearly in people's minds, as it ought to be. It's a pinch point, man. And uh, I really wish 
it turned out better, obviously. But we're going to get it done. Uh, the only other thing I would add is Phil Dajma. Uh, those of you who weren't here for the Christmas party, um, he was honored uh, here for his 40 years of service to the township, which is pretty remarkable. I don't think anyone uh, currently on staff has served longer. Uh, Judy. Yeah, Judy. Judy. That's right, Judy. That's right. She was just barely ahead of him, right? Yeah. And Judy, we forced to come and publicly, uh, you know, honor. Harold didn't want to come, and he was able to talk us into just doing it a, on a smaller scale here at the Christmas party, but I thought I'd bring him up anyways for whoever might uh, wish to carry that news in the township, because 40 years, I mean, that is a lifetime. That's a career. Uh, I used to think you've got to do at least 30 to call it a career, and people like him prove that you can go further yet. Um, and, the boy, 40 years to give uh, to one place and to give to the township is remarkable. So we honor him and uh, thank him for his service, I believe. He won't be with us too much longer. Uh, I don't think that's too private, right? So, end of February. Yeah, end of February. So if you see him, you get a chance to shake his hand, tell him thank you. And that's all I have. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Yeah, the plan. Board. Board all in favor? Aye. 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 The meeting is closed.